Uh, hello, so we'll start exercises on uh, two dimensional arrays or matrices. So, in this exercise, we need to zero the main diagonal of a matrix. So, we need to write a program that zeroes the element of the main diagonal of a given square matrix. So, <clears throat> uh, for that, so uh, this is a square uh, matrix. So, the program we should first read the dimension. So, uh, uh, in the course and the lecture, I have said that we need to read two dimensions, R and C, number of rows and number of columns. However, here we have a square matrix, so I just need to read one dimension since uh, since the uh, number of rows is equal to the number of uh, columns. So, <clears throat> for example, here uh, the, the, the number of rows is equal to 4 and the number of columns is equal to 4. So, we need to read <coughs> the size and then we need to, to read the different elements of this uh, matrix. So, we will display it and uh, then we need to zero the main diagonal. So in, in, instead of 9, 11, uh, 4, and 10, I should place uh, 0. So uh, how can I do, uh, how can I place zeros in here? So we know that we need two loops to loop over uh, the matrix. So one I for uh, the rows and J for the columns. And as you can see, uh, uh, 9 is where I is equal to 0 and g is equal to j is equal to 0 this is for 9 and for 11 is where i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 1 and the same for 4 so it's j equal to i equal to 2 this is for 4 and i equal 3 j equal to 3 for the element 10 so we need to uh, place a zeros in this in those elements so uh, we need to find a way to do that so obviously uh, we will not do uh, two loops for uh, zeroing the elements, we just need to loop uh, uh, one time. So uh, if you can see, so the number of uh, iterations and the number of zeroing is equal to the size of uh, the matrix. So we'll use that. So again, and starting from this exercise, I will be using the tutorials point uh, compiler. So why I'll be using that? Because there will be a lot of input. So instead of repeating the input many, many times, so we have here uh, what's called the standard input. So we'll place all the values so the, the, the that we want to scan f so that we will be using in scan f and we will run the code so we will be acquainted with this uh, um, interface as we will be solving most of the uh, matrix uh, exercises using this uh, compiler so let's start so we need a, a matrix <clears throat> so uh, let's call it int m and of course it will be of maximum size size so we need to define uh, size here so let's say that a size is uh, maximum is 50 you can change it if you want a bigger a matrix and we need uh, the size so let's call it n and of course we need two <coughs> counters uh, to loop over the matrix so we need to read the dimension so here we have just one dimension so print f enter the dimension and we need we do a scan off percentage d address of n and we do that as long as n is less or equal to zero or n is greater than size so here we just have one dimension and then we need to read the uh, matrix so for i equal to zero i less than n i plus plus and we don't need uh, curly braces for j equal to zero j less than n j plus plus so we already done this in the course and we'll print on the screen a message so print off <clears throat> enter m percentage d percentage d equal comma i comma j and scan f percentage d address of m i j so we have read all the elements of the uh, matrix. So here we have a double quotation. So let's print a message here to say that um, reading the matrix. So you, you will notice in a while that you will not see here the input because we will be adding it directly here. So we'll just see the output, we'll just see the print f. So the scan f, it will be get, we will, uh, the, the compiler will get the elements from here. So here on the result, we'll just see the print f. 
So we have red. So let's let's uh, let's uh, do that. So for example, here I will place four because in the scan app I need to enter a, a number between uh, one and uh, fifty. So four, and then I will add uh, a four by four a matrix. For example, this one. So it's more easier here to uh, enter the different values. So before so before executing so before uh, uh, pressing on the execute button i will print f again the matrix so to see what what we have in the matrix so the matrix and i will do the same however instead of scan f i will do a print f so i will do print f percentage uh, d and instead of percentage d i would place m of i of j so this is for each line I will print uh, 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 n values so at the end of this I would print a, a backslash n so let's execute this code and see what's the output so as you can see there's a lot of enter enter so this is the, those codes so the, the, the compiler is using those values however for the print f so we have here the, the matrix so if you can see ta -ta -ta, there's here the matrix so if I want, I can place multiple backslash n in order to see that. So for just the output. So here we have the matrix. So this is just for the output. So and then we need to zero the main uh, diagonal. And then again, we'll display the matrix. So how can we do that? So again, as we have seen, I need to zero an element. So obviously, I will do uh, the operation n times. So I will need just one loop because... I need to zero four elements for so i equal to zero, i less than n, i plus plus. So, how can I access the first element? It's equal to uh, m of zero zero, and then m of one one, m of two two, and m of three three. So, it's equal to m of i i. So, m of f i. So, the first time is equal to m zero zero, and then m one one, m two two, m three three, and I will place zero in those, and this is it. And then I will reprint the matrix. So I will copy paste the printing of a matrix. So let's say the matrix after after zeroing the main diagonal. Let's run, execute again. And yes, as we can see, I have zeros here on the main diagonal. So uh, here we have 4, 4. However, the last row is equal to 0. So I didn't enter any values. So and again we have a zero at the main diagonal. So this is it for the exercise. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to drop me a message. And thanks for watching.